CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Hudson Mack is off tonight. I'm Andrew Johnson. She has raised more than a million dollars for children's charity and built a home away from home so parents can be with their sick children while they're at the hospital. It is safe to say that Vancouver Island's Janice Edroff has devoted her young life to giving back to her community. Well, tonight, she's the one in need. Janice needs a very serious surgery on her spine that, if done here in B.C., will likely leave her paralyzed. There may be a glimmer of hope if she has a surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota she may still be able to walk. It's a long shot the province isn't willing to pay for. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock reports on a story you will only see on CTV. Yes, I've met Janice, finally. She's just a beautiful person. Kathy Seagriff is saddened to hear that her family's hero is in need. She's such a huge heart, she would never be asking. But I think that it's definitely her turn to receive. Vancouver Island's Penny Girl, who's done so much for so many, faces tough times ahead. My back doctor told me, he said, I won't walk in after the surgery. The bones are all disintegrating. She doesn't have three of her vertebrae right now, and we've got a leg bone in her back, and apparently it's disintegrating as well. So everything is falling apart in the lower end of the spine. She wants a second opinion from specialists in her condition at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. It would be way better for me to go there, in a sense, because they have know these tumors, they know the condition, better than they do children's here. But the province won't cover it, even if it means she could retain the ability to walk. And I'm suffering here and they won't pay for it, so it's really not happy. Well, I think everybody should have an opportunity to walk and um, um, I think the province should pay for it. It is a little crazy, especially with what she's done. The government should pay for it without even thinking about it. BC's health minister has nothing but praise for Janice. There's no question that Janice is a hero in this province. She says the province occasionally funds experimental treatment, which Janice's operation would be considered, but... We usually don't. We usually wait until research has been done and the procedures have been validated and we know they work, and then we look at whether we're able to provide coverage for those or not. So it's getting worse as we wait. I feel it's quite unfair. And difficult for a mom to watch. I just want to make sure that we do the right thing for Janice. The health minister says she wants to help and hopes she can, adding that she's already taken steps to that end. What I will say is that we've heard that there seems to be some kind of a problem. I've asked ministry staff to reach out to Janice. Who has reached out to so many others. Why would you not pay for some, like, someone who's just giving back to the community like, so much and not pay for them to go down to get better opinion? Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live with more. Stephanie, what are the Edroff's options? Well, Andrew, there's a neurofibromatosis clinic at the Mayo Clinic, and they provide the latest cutting-edge treatment there. At this point, the cost of just the trip to get that second opinion is more than the family can bear, and they're really frustrated that that is just part of the policies of our, of our government. Now, hopefully the ministry can do something, as you heard Margaret McDermott say. They would reach out to Janice and her family. It just seems kind of ironic that she spent more than half her young life raising funds for families, and now she finds herself and her family in need. Well, I'm sure if the ministry can't help her, Vancouver Islanders will. That is definitely the, what is going around on the street right now. When anybody hears about it, everybody wants to help her. Of course. Thanks, Stephanie. You're welcome.